Yeah, we, we are aware of this uh, genetic variance, I think, reported in about a thousand individuals in England and the authorities in the UK and uh, under uh, Matt Hancock's leadership obviously are looking at the significance of this. We've seen many variants, uh, as we've always said here, this virus evolves uh, and changes over time. And we've seen uh, different variants emerge. The question is, what is their significance in public health terms? Uh, and uh, certainly uh, looking at this particular variant uh, seems to have become more prevalent in the UK. We'll obviously need to work with our international lab network to see if that variant is becoming more prevalent on an international basis. But again, to say that this kind of evolution or mutations like this are actually quite common. Um, the question, as we've had most recently with the mink variants in Denmark and the, uh, the previous uh, variations in the virus, does this make the virus uh, more serious? Does it allow the virus to transmit uh, more easily? Does it in any way interfere with diagnostics? Would it in any way interfere with vaccine effectiveness? These are questions. None of these questions have been addressed yet, and we have no information to suggest that any of that uh, is the case. Uh, and that is why each and every time we see a significant variant, we have to take the time to assess its significance. I'm sure the UK authorities are doing the responsible thing as they are in really looking at this, in informing and putting this up on public websites. I think, like you said, they've already uploaded the sequences for everybody else to look at. It is the height of transparency. Uh, it is state of the art in the way people, in the way in which national authorities communicate with other national authorities and with WHO. It shows absolute transparency, and we have every confidence in the UK scientific capacity to understand this variant and to work with us and uh, experts around the world to do the same. Maria may have more details on the specific variants, the, the, the specific variant and the findings so far. Maria? Yeah, thanks, Mike. And yes, and, and just to say that, yes, it has been reported to us um, through through our IHR channels, and, and that's very helpful for us to see. But this is a, a variant, it's the N501Y that's actually being monitored already by our virus evolution working group. Um, it's come up in the context of a mink variant um, identified elsewhere. So as Mike has pointed out, I think what is really important is that you understand that there is a process by which uh, WHO working together with scientists around the world are evaluating each one of these variants that are being identified. And to understand the significance of this in terms of the virus's behavior um, as its ability to transmit or its ability to cause uh, different forms of disease. But um, those studies will be underway and those studies are underway in the UK. And we're directly working, in fact, in my inbox now, there's, there's a discussion that's happening right now with our virus evolution working group, particularly specifically on this. Um, and so that's really important that that laboratory work is done to evaluate the, the, any potential significance. And we're not necessarily saying that there is. That, was re that research needs to be done. And then to do a proper risk assessment to determine if this variant or any variant that is identified has any impact on any products. So this is a process. It's a robust process that is in place. It's been in place um, in one form or another since January. It was formalized into a working group in June. Um, and so we will follow up and we are following up with our colleagues in the UK um, and we thank them for reporting this and for all countries who are doing full genome sequencing and who are making these full genome sequences available. I think it's worth noting that more than 250,000 full genome sequences have been made available on platforms like Jusaid and others. Um, we're very grateful for this and we hope that that will continue and we hope that that will be expanded uh, to more countries of the world. 